Hey friends, welcome back to the channel and thank you for tuning in again. So why do we invest? Of course, at some point we want to be able to live of our investment for most people or um, spend it on some purchase or whatever. I just bought a Lamborghini. Um, but the main focus for most of people is to be able to retire on their investment. So their investment pays for their monthly expenses. And I thought of myself, okay, how much in, the, in my current state, how much money do I need a month to, um, to be able to not work anymore, theoretically? Um, even though I, of course, would work probably until I die because it's just fun and otherwise it's quite boring if you don't work anymore. But that's another topic. So how much do I need? And what's then the principal amount of capital that I need to have invested in the stock market? to be able to live of that amount forever. And the answer was pretty shocking for me that I'm not even that far off that amount yet. So I'm gonna be honest with you, this video is for people that have a modest income and also um, not that much spendings per month. Um, of course, if you earn more and can invest more every month, achieving financial freedom for you uh, may go way quicker uh, depending on your monthly spending. So the budget I need to sustain my current lifestyle um, is about a thousand dollars a month. So this is the amount I'm calculating this whole scenario through. Um, this amount I think is quite normal for people that still can live like a student. What I would recommend everyone that wants to build wealth pretty fast to lower your expenses as, as much as possible and invest the amount uh, invest the rest of the amount that you earn. Okay, so that leads us with twelve thousand dollars that I need to sustain a basic lifestyle. Okay, how did I come up with this seemingly n low nine years of um, time that you need to achieve this? Okay, let's open the, the calculator. And uh, we have the $12,000 um, that we need a year to sustain our basic lifestyle. And we divide it by the average market return. And I'm taking here an op optimistic market return because First of all, the last years were just crazy. I mean, the market uh, jumped, at, the, the broad market went up by nearly like 20% or so per year. Uh, my portfolio was more like in the 30% per year, that, which was absolutely crazy. Um, this will probably not last for the next 10, 20 years like this. But let's say um, the overall market um, increases by 8% a year. I know this is an optimistic approach, but uh, we are optimists here, so we take this. This leaves us with exactly $150,000 um, that we need to sustain our lifestyle. So you now have this $150,000 and you make 8% a year return on it. So in, in, the, in your first year of having the $150,000, so after the first year of having these $150,000 invested, you have uh, 162,000. So that's exactly $12,000 more. So after that year, you sell exactly $12,000 off your portfolio and you can take out $12,000 every year um, for the rest of your life, theoretically. Of course, there are times where the market increases by 20%. There are also times where the market decreases by a few percentage, but um, we simplify this here and yeah, this is basically the amount you need um, if your expenses are $1,000 a month and you say, okay, I just want to be safe. Um, I want to maybe um, be able to, to start own projects uh, without having to work that nine to five job or something. Um, and this is actually, yeah, this is quite, quite a reasonable amount that every, like everybody can um, achieve, right? To, to have this amount invested in the stock market. So yeah, and how does this work in nine years? So what I calculated with is an initial investment of let's say $10,000. Let's say you're already interested in the stock market since a few years, you have already invested something. $10,000 initial investment is uh, quite reasonable. And now we have a monthly contribution um, of $1,000. We say, okay, um, a reasonable, a modest income that most people can achieve is earning $2,000 a month. $1,000 is uh, spendings and the rest of it you can invest. Okay, let's say $2,000 and, uh, and leng length of years, we have uh, nine years and estimated interest rate 
and when we calculate this we even come out with $170,000 so even more than uh, the $150,000 that we expected so even if the interest rate might be a little bit lower if your initial investment might, might be a little bit lower it, it should be definitely possible to achieve this goal if you have that goal um, in that short amount of time which is I think awesome I hope this was insightful for you and also motivational and uh, gave you some hope if you're just at the beginning uh, and uh, have only invested yeah, your, your first $10,000. If you like this video, please feel free to subscribe to the channel and see you in the next one. Bye bye.